What up, photo friends? A little dark down here today because we're gonna do something a little different. Um, we're actually gonna make a hologram. So here is my holographic plate. Figure out which side's the back. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this in half and I'm gonna sensitize it and put it in a drying box to dry off um, and then it'll be ready to go ahead and expose to the laser beam. So for now, let's go ahead and chop this in half. All right, so we're gonna give the plates about a half an hour to dry. Um, and then once they're completely dry, I will uh, cover the outsides in tape uh, to prevent any internal reflection. And then um, once we're all set, I'll put the plate onto the rig and we'll probably let it sit for another half an hour because we have to make sure that there's uh, everything settles and the room isn't vibrating. That's a kind of a weird thing to wrap your head around if you're only used to doing photography, but any vibrations in the room can ruin the hologram effect from happening. So we have to be very cautious with that. So we'll take our time and um, hopefully we get a hologram by the end of the day. Just a little info on my laser. I'm using a 632 nanometer 5.8 milliwatt helium neon laser with a microscope objective as part of the spatial filter. Thank you. 